Hi everybody, my name is Jackie from Nokia Mobile. I'm joined by Micah, our lead trainer today, and we're really excited to talk to you guys about Nokia's growing portfolio of smartphones in the US, but especially we wanna talk a little bit today about 5G what that means. There's a lot of questions. I think a lot of people are talking about 5G. Nokia has been launching over the past couple of months uh, several new 5G devices. So Micah, why don't you tell us a little bit about what makes these new Nokia phones special? Yeah, Jackie, thanks for having me. So we have a great portfolio of 5G options available across various price points and various retailers. So we have our Nokia G300 5G that's available at TrackPhone, Straight Talk to Wireless, our Nokia X100 5G available at T-Mobile and Metro by T-Mobile. We also have our open market or unlocked Nokia G50. That one's available at various retailers. So you can get it online, amazon.com, nokia.com. And then I'm really excited to introduce our latest addition to our affordable 5G portfolio, the Nokia G400 5G. And this one is gonna be available in various carrier channels, uh, as well as an unlocked version as well for the US. That's great. So tell me about what these phones have in common. What makes these phones special? So Nokia is known for making phones that are built to last, but also where form meets function, meaning not only they're practical and reliable, but they're going to look great as well. And you can see that across all of the finishes of these devices. So what happens if I drop one of these? So our phones undergo tougher than industry average testing to ensure that they're built to withstand those everyday knocks of life. So whether it's from the aluminum frame to the Gorilla Glass screens to the polycarbonate bodies, they're really designed to take more of, you know, the everyday life that, you know, things that are thrown at you. I have a Nokia XR20, which is not on display today. Mm -hmm. I drop that thing every day and it, it's still in great shape, it still works. It doesn't really have any bumps and bruises on it. So that's that's really what Nokia has been about, right? It's that that durability, that reliability. Absolutely, I mean, you look a, a, across the internet and there's memes everywhere about the durability and reliability of Nokia phones. Which are so fun. And we're, you know, all of these devices are gonna live up to that reputation of reliability. And that's the key. We've got a lot of great features that customers will love using on these phones as well. So it's not just about the design durability of our phones. So why why 5G? Everybody's talking about 5G, but what does that actually mean for a consumer? Like, why should my next phone be a 5G device? Yeah, I mean, over the last couple of years, 5G has really become the new buzzword and phrase in the industry. Uh, and most people think it just stops at faster speeds. But really, that's just the beginning of what 5G has available for customers. So. In addition to you know having those faster speeds, whether you're you know streaming videos and you don't have any lag or buffering, or whether it's you know browsing the internet and getting those faster page you know loads, 5G goes so much further than that. It's going to give you more dependable connections, which is really important in areas of congestion. So, just a simple use case scenario: I'm at a baseball game this summer and there's thousands of other people in the stadium with me and we're all on our phones posting to our social media feeds uh, you know checking the scores at the other games or uh, booking an uber on our ride home uh, when you get that many people in one space on a network the network bandwidth becomes very congested 5g is going to allow the network to have more capacity so that customers continue to get a great experience on their mobile device and they're not frustrated with those slower speeds. Because ultimately, 5G is about the network, right? It's Absolutely. not just, or is it about the phone? Or how does that work? So obviously with 5G, a lot of that depends on not just network coverage, but the network build out. Uh, but you need something that can take advantage of those speeds. So think about it like a dirt road, for example, that can get you from A to B. Well. You know, if you don't have an off-road vehicle, a dirt road is useless to you. You're not taking advantage. Exactly. So okay. you need a 5G device that can really take advantage of what the network has to offer. Otherwise, you're just using the network at very limited like capacities. Basics. Yes. So how much is one of these going to set me back? So what's funny about that, I'm glad you asked, is all four of these devices that we have are all under $300. So no really? matter your price point, you know, and you think about everything's going up in price nowadays, 
We still need a phone. It's no longer a luxury item. It's really a, a life tool that we use every day for everything. You really don't want to have to compromise your life, but at the same time, you don't want to have to overspend on something where that money could be better used. So Nokia is going to bring you affordable, reliable devices with incredible features at a price that is actually manageable. So tell me about some of those features though. Like, is there a good camera on the phone? Because a $300 phone, that's not... Right. So I think, you know, our expectations of what phones or what makes a great phone has been somewhat skewed over the last few years. So we want to kind of change that dynamic and change that thinking here at Nokia by bringing in phones that aren't, like I said earlier, not just reliable, but phones you'll love to use. So camera is a huge feature. It's one of the most important things that everybody says they want their phone to be able to do is take great photos and videos. So all of these phones are gonna have multiple cameras for different situations, whether it's the wide angle cameras to get more in your shot, whether it's the depth camera to create some really beautiful portrait mode shots, exclusive video features that allow you to take Hollywood style videos, but all of them have really high resolution main cameras for super detailed shots. Okay. And with night mode, you could take them in low light, you know, challenging situations. But you see a lot of cameras on phones where it's multiple cameras, it's all about the hardware. And if we left it there, then we'd be kind of sticking with the trend. But what we do that I think goes above and beyond is we give some creative software tools to really help your photos and videos stand out. Okay. What about the battery? Is this, cause we're talking about 5G, we're talking about the camera. Those are things that really drain your battery, right? Like how long would this battery last normally? Am I gonna have to be running around with a charger in my pocket? We all have that anxiety, right? We wake up and how long is my phone gonna last? Do it's I need horrible. to bring a cable? I'm at the airport, I need a plug. Absolutely. No, I mean, look, the most important thing that your phone can do for you is be ready when you need it. Cameras are great, screens are great, but if the battery doesn't last, that creates a whole issue in itself. So with these phones, you're gonna get anywhere from an up to two day to three day battery on a single charge, ensuring that look, sun up to sun down, you're gonna be able to do all the things that you love for longer and not have that you know, charging anxiety or that red mm -hmm. battery symbol that gives you a little bit of the nervousness. Well, I learned something about Nokia phones when I was doing my homework. Um, they have something called Super Saver Battery Mode, which I thought was so cool. Um, so that is something that not a, not every other brand has. So um, we're also looking at fast charging. Mm -hmm. So all of these things that really make your battery last longer, which is which is great. I think that's what people want, right? They want a great camera. They want a really long lasting battery. You know, when we talk to consumers, you know, that's that's what they tell us they want. They want a reliable phone that's going to last, that is going to really add to their life and their lifestyle. You hit the nail on the head with that. I mean, realistically, there's so many different things that go into making the battery last longer. It's not just the size of the battery. And, you know, how fast can you charge it? Um, things like the super battery saver mode, those are great. Uh, but one of the things that I think Nokia does differently than the other Android OEMs out there is that we actually use a cleaner version of Android that really helps with that. So we're not gonna load our phone with this custom user interface skin to make it look like our own version of Android. We're not gonna duplicate apps. You don't need a gallery and Google Photos. You don't need our messaging app and Google Messaging, uh, or even worse, our own app store when Google Play Store is fine. By doing that, you're not just taking up crazy storage space, but your processor is having to work overtime to run all of that stuff. And so that's more efficient. It's more efficient, it doesn't drain the battery, it runs smoother, it's just a much better Android experience. And that's what every Nokia fan out there wanted, right? Was a Nokia running Android for yep. years and years. Absolutely. So it's so exciting for Nokia to be uh, back in the US, creating smartphones specifically for the US customer um, that run Android, that run clean Android, as you said. Um, 
and all for really, really affordable prices. I mean, this makes 5G accessible to anybody, not just you know people who have a thousand dollars to spend on a phone. How do these phones actually stack up in terms of performance? I mean, that's not a lot of money to spend for what people usually spend a lot of money on. You're right, and. You know, in addition to having that clean Android that we talked about, which is gonna help the phone run more efficiently, we also are using the latest in the chipsets from a really well-known manufacturer. You might have heard of them, Qualcomm, and their Snapdragon chipsets. So we've got great processors in these devices. In addition to that, we're gonna, you know, commit to privacy, security, and by giving you regular security updates on these phones, which also help make sure that the phones are protected and that any you know, software patches that need to happen are happening on a regular basis, which again, helps improve performance. So with these phones, there's a lot of things that you think you might be sacrificing by not spending that thousand dollars. But the reality is, is you're gonna get everything you need and we've designed them in a way that won't just meet the expectations, but exceed them. We really wanna bring a truly great technology experience to everyone, regardless of the prices that, you know, or their price budget that they have set. And to your point, 5G is not just the future, which is what we've heard for so long, the last couple of years, 5G is the future, it's the now. And, you know, I'm a little bit of a gamer. And, you know, in the past it was, I, had, I spent hundreds of dollars on these advanced gaming consoles that when I went on business trips, can't take I it was, with you. Yeah, I can't take it with me. I'm bored in my hotel. But now I can actually take one of our 5G devices here and connect to one of the cloud gaming services and with those you know, increased 5G speeds, actually play brand new video games that are come out, not just mobile versions of games, but full console games, next generation games yeah. on my device, which is, it still blows my mind thinking right. I can do that. All right, well, thank you so much, Micah, for joining us today. Really exciting to learn more about Nokia's affordable 5G portfolio. I know which one I've got my eye on. Where can people go find more information about these phones? Yeah, so you can actually go to Nokia.com to check out more information about any of these devices or across any of our major retail partners. Well, thanks, Micah, for joining us. Thank you all for joining us as well uh, to learn more about Nokia's affordable 5G portfolio. We'll see you next time.